everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. And this brown bump over here is Miss Kalua. She happens to be in a little bit of a shaky mood because the weather here, believe it or not, woke up to snow this morning. Yes, snow. It is May and we have snow. Um, the wind is cranking so viciously out there. We have had our lights flickering, cables been in and out, and I'm telling you, I'm probably gonna come flying past someone's house. I've seen lawn furniture flying by. It's just crazy right now. So she's a little bit shook up. She doesn't handle storms or weather like this very well. So when she gets like that, she has to be right on top of me. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna do this Dollar Tree. So what I have is basically the leftover from yesterday's Dollar Tree haul. And I've had so many of you say, please, please, please open up some more tie boxes. So I have some more tie boxes to open up with all of you. So with that being said, hopefully everyone is doing well on this Saturday. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Um, Bittersweet for me. It's really tough, but let's get into this Dollar Tree. Okay, so the remainder, um, I did get it a little couple of sweets. Not too bad, but one of my favorite flavors of bubblegum is grape. It's always been grape. Grape is like my, oh. And of course, Double Bubble, and I have to give Chicago a shout out here. Double bubble, and it's the bag with nothing but grape. I was so excited. I love bubble gum. I love to blow bubbles. I'm just wacky like that. I can actually do a bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble. That's five all together. Um, test me. I'll do it. <laughs> anyway, so I picked up two packages. The expiration date on these are March of 2022, so you have plenty of time. Just one of my summertime flavors. I mean, I love grape all the time, but in the summer months, you know, it's like in the summertime you get certain things like Tootsie Roll Pops and Tootsie Rolls and Twizzlers and, you know, those kinds of things. I'm telling you, I've created a monster with Grandpa. Um, I have now got Grandpa turned on to the Reason Storks. Uh, these are, how many did you get? It's a 2.65 ounce package. Each package, here they go, they're individually wrapped. They look like that. Each package has anywhere from like nine to 10 in there. But for the dollar, it's really not bad. Grandpa loves them. So I picked up a couple more packages of those for him. And let me see. I grabbed some more of these candles. They had these candles out a while ago. And I was kicking myself because I have a lot of purple going on in this room here, as you can tell. These are three inches, and uh, these are made by, I have no idea. Oh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I? Anyways, it says Rose Quartz. I'm sorry. I thought I said the maker. It's Jasmine and Rose Water. I love these because... It's got this beautiful iridescent pearl to it. The candle itself is very pleasant. I smell a lot of rose in there. So here, take a sniff. All right, how many of you did it? Come on, be honest. Sniff. <laughs> it's coming, I'm telling you. This world is becoming the Jetsons. Um, so there's a lot of rose smell to it. But what I've been doing is, after the candle burns down, I'm taking off this white strip here. I pop it in the freezer, get the wax out, I give it a wash and a dry, and I put my own candle. And I've done one where I just put a tea light in it, and it looks so pretty. And because there's so much lavender and purple in this particular room, I wanted to keep the theme going by keeping some kind of these. So I did end up getting four more. Love them. They have a nice throw. Like I said, it's more of a rose water i mean you, you do smell some jasmine but it's not overpowering in my opinion the throw is decent um it's not the best but it's decent and you know for smell i smell more rose but that's just me and everybody's different in what they smell because everybody's sniffers different okay also 
I picked up a package of these and these were new. These are made by Jot and you get a two pack and these are magnetic hooks. So they've got quite a bit of hook there, <laughs> if that's what you wanna say it. Um, they are done in silver tone. The kitchen is done in black and silver tone colors. So I thought this would be perfect because the refrigerator is like aluminum that, you know, that metal color. I thought these would be good to hang on the refrigerator for like a set of oven mitts or I don't know, you could hang anything off of there. I'm not really sure how strong they are because you wanna be careful. Nothing like putting something on the fridge and then you hang it up and you just watch the magnet slowly go down the fridge and go, okay, that's not gonna work. All right, uh, makeup section. Let me see what I found. Let me see something to share with you. I do try to group my Dollar Tree hauls the best I can for items. I don't like to bounce all over the place. So I do try to do the best I can most of the time. All right, so I got my hands on some scunchy. Scunchy has been around longer than me and I've been around for a long time. Um, this is a 30 piece, no damage, Bonus $3.99 value because it comes with a topsy tail. Do you all remember, I'm showing my age now, remember all those commercials with the hair stuff? I mean, we still have them, but back in the day, you know, they were a little bit different than they are now. They're not like these infomercials that run for 25 minutes and you find out it's a commercial and you're like, oh my God, that just drives me nuts. But this has the topsy tail which turns your ponytail into like a flip, which you can actually do yourself, but this just makes it easier. But there's 30 in here. I like these because they have the no pinch. You have a big assortment of colors. And I don't know about all of you, but for me, I have scunchies in my purse. I have them in other people's purses, in other people's cars. I have them everywhere, but it never fails. When I really need one, I can't find one. I also found this brand and I think it's, pronounce Sophie, Sophia maybe. Uh, this is a company out of Canada. And I saw, wow, I like the black. I like there's solid black and then there's black and silver. And how many are even on here? Oh, um, 18 pieces. But I liked this color assortment. So I grabbed some basically extra ones because I buy them and they just disappear. Just like forks. Who has issues with forks? spoons, knives, I'm telling you, they do they just walk out of the house? Where do they go? Where do they go? Okay, this is by LA Colors. I found a few of these a couple Dollar Tree hauls ago. I just came across some other ones, so I wanted to share. Okay, now we've got, some of these are eyeshadows and some of these are highlighters. So we're gonna start with the eyeshadows first. LA Colors, these are all 11 ounces. They come in a little like metal aluminum pot, like a little tin with a lid. This one is called Beauty in Bloom Eyeshadow and the color is Seaside Escape. Now I'm gonna bring it in and try, there we go, perfect shot. You can see the three colors there. You've got a gold, a blue, and then on the bottom there, you've got like an opalescent white. It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna turn it on the side so you can get an idea there of the tin. The tin is actually, the lid of the tin is on the bottom and then you can see the height of it right there. Very pretty. So like I said, this one's an eyeshadow. Then this one I have is also considered an eyeshadow. These are all LA colors. I don't know how many are in the set because I think I have like nine all together and they're all different. So I really don't know how many there are. This one here is eyeshadow and this one is called Blossom. Let me get a good shot for you without, the, there we go. You can see you've got like a burgundy type color. Well, it's not really burgundy. I would say it's more of a rose copper type of color. And then you have that really pretty pink. And then you have that. And I don't wanna say that's more of white, but this one is more, oh, let me see if I can show you on camera. I think you might be able to, okay. I think you're gonna be able to tell. 
this one is white this one here you can see it is more of like a, a pearl type color it's a little bit more toned down can you see the difference there on screen somebody yell yes <laughs> i think you can because i can even see it there's a better shot so this has more white and then this has more of a beige i just want to try to describe the products the best that i can okay la colors still now these are highlighters but you know what eyeshadow blush highlighter you can put it wherever the hell you want i don't think the la colors beauty police are going to come chasing you or anything okay this one is pearl and this is a highlighter absolutely love that there is a great shot um i do wear a lot of physician formula and this is something that I see from Physician Formula in a lot of their makeup um, compacts. So I thought for the dollar, these are just too, too cute. The next one, also a highlighter. And this one is called Moonstone. Let me get it in nice and close. There we go. You definitely have some purple going on there. You have actually some gold in there and you have a little bit of a light, light bronze. And did I give you the color of this one? I believe I did. If not, I apologize. That one was pearl. That's the one I just showed you prior to showing you that one right there. The next and last one, and it's so cute. I love this name. It's called Dewdrop. And um, this is also a highlighter. And I'm gonna get it in nice and close and then get the glare off. And there you go. You've just got basically undertones of different types of bronzes. It's very pretty. And it's really nice and compact. Something you just pop into a clutch or a small bag. Sometimes a little of this, you know, down in the cleavage area. Maybe gets a little attention. I'm just saying. Okay, let's move on here. I think that's it for makeup yes okay then i'm sorry i have like a fuzz ball or something Clua, we need to give you a brushing you got fuzz balls um look at this auntie linda let me see if i can get this is <laughs> auntie linda i'm telling you <laughs> this once was a dinosaur he's not so much anymore but that's her baby and she sleeps with it. Okay. All right, I got some foam scatter. Foam scatter doesn't mean it's foam scatter. Again, I'm one of those that you can do anything with anything. I picked up two bags and basically what it is is 20 pieces and I have been doing these faux toppers for Ray Dunn mugs. Actually, you could use it for anything. And I've been trying to figure out something for like 4th of July and for like Memorial Day. And with our world being pretty much shut down right now, I've been having a very difficult time finding much of anything. Sorry, old lady cramp kicking in. I gotta move my legs. Um, literally, <clears throat> my gosh, and I'll be another year older next month. Okay, squirrel. Um, back to the 20 pieces of scatter. <laughs> my hair clip's too tight. No, I'm just kidding. So I've been looking for something to use on the faux toppers. And so I thought, you know what? These aren't as small as I would like them to be. But for right now, I thought I could use some of these smaller ones. Um, like in one of the tops of a cupcake or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I don't know where I was going with this. I totally lost my train of thought because I heard something pull up outside. And I know she's going to go off and just mess everything up. So I'm trying to roll with it and keep it real okay i really don't have much left but stubs considering i ended up removing my artificial nails about a month ago was it that long ago i don't remember um i had to take them off myself it's not the first time it won't be the last time but i tell you oi for those of you that wear artificial nails and have ever had one break or you've had to remove your own you know my pain oh it's oh and then you're doing it and you're going i'm never doing this again i'm never doing it again and then what do you do you go out and you do it again um i guess a little pain is worth the pleasure <laughs> okay so while my stubs are growing out here i did come across 
this Wet n Wild, and it says One Step Wonder Gel Nail Color. It's 0 0.2 fluid ounces. It looked a little different. It says no light required, blah, 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 but it looks really pretty. Now, I'm not sure exactly if the color of the bottle is what it looks like. So, let me find something. Something, something, something. All right, let's use the back of this right here because it's all white. So, this first one is called Lavender Out Loud. I like that lavender out loud so let's give it a shake really right now my nails are horrible because I've been working in the yard working on the car already okay so let me give you a shot of what this one looks like all right let's see without me spilling this bottle all over God's creation okay now obviously we're doing this on white let me just put like a little bit. Woo, catch a buzz off that stuff. Wow. All right, so that's the first one. Let me bring it in. It's still drying, but that's pretty. And the second one is by what? I'm really, I, I'm still waiting for my contacts. Uh, by. Felicia? Felicia? I don't know, but that's what it looks like. So let's give it a shot. I'm just going to paint it. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, let me take a look here. I'm going to paint it over on this side. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this is more me. Okay, let me show you. Really nice brush. It goes on really, really nice. Whew, man, that stuff is strong. So here's the first one I showed you. So that is this one. So I'd say that's pretty true to color. And the second one is this by Felicia. There it is. That's what it looks like. So I would say, yeah, they're both very pretty. So I plan on painting my little stubs. So I probably only need literally like a little dot on each one, but it's something while they're still growing out. And because we can't get to any salons, it is what it is. All right. Blind bags. Let me gather them up here. All right. Oh, something I want to share with all of you. I'm so excited. And it's about damn time. I had an upgrade on my Apple phone um, almost three months ago. So I placed an order for a new phone almost three months ago. It was like uh, nine weeks and some change. Long enough. So I placed this order. My phone finally came. I'm so excited. It's got a lot more memory. Um, it's just going to hopefully do the things I needed to do, but I wanted to show all of you because I, I just got it. I haven't even taken the plastic off the box yet, but looky, looky. Do you see what color it is? Purple, yes, look at that, purple. Actually, this is the new Apple iPhone 11. I have it in the 256 gigabyte. I'm really, really looking forward to opening it up, looking at it, but I don't have a cover yet, so I need to get a cover before I start using it, and I can't get it in any stores, so I'm gonna have to order something online. But I had to share that because I've been looking so forward to having more memory so I can record more. All right, blind bags. Let's see what we have. All right, let's start with, let's see what we got here. Let me get my old lady body fixed. And where's my scissors? Because I came totally prepared. And you're just going to sleep through this whole thing? Oh, she's such a good doggy. She's my best friend. Okay, let's start with series three. And these are the tie blind boxes okay we're just gonna move along here now i've already sent out some of my doubles to people that requested if i have doubles i am going to either just send them to people that you know whoever asks me for it first if you uh you know contact me i don't know to do a giveaway i'm not sure how well that'll work 
uh, trying to figure out something because whatever doubles I have, I don't need them and I'm happy to send them off. Um, if you want to help with a little of the shipping, maybe, you know, it's up to you guys. Just let me know. We'll figure something out. All right. So this one is in a blue package. She awakens. There she is. Okay. So we have a blue package. Each box has a little pamphlet that tells you all the things that you can get. All right. So let me see. We've got a blue bag. I don't think I've ever seen a blue bag before. What's this? What do you think is in here? She goes, this is not a dog treat. I don't want it, Mom. All right, so let's cut this one open and see what we have. What do we have? <gasps> I don't have this one. Oh, it's a poodle. Oh, is that just too stinking cute? Look at that. It's a little poodle. Oh, my gosh. It's got... Isn't that cute? I don't have this one. So this one's definitely going to go into my collection. All right, do we do another? Sure, we have to do another. Okay, throw all the garbage on the floor for the maid, which is me. All right, this next one. There it is. Let's see what we got. Okay. And this looks... Really? <laughs> okay, BRB. I wouldn't normally do this, but because I have only so many, I actually want to be able to share with all of you. So, <laughs> let me come right back at you. Bop. All right, that's live for you. That's keeping it real. Oh my, I said that twice now. Okay, so we have a pink bag <laughs> that just went on the floor. Let's open it up and see what we have. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, it's a penguin. Do I have this one? Let me look. No, I have um the penguin I have is blue. So this is brand new for me too. Look at that little penguin. Oh, there's your little tie symbol. And he's all fuzzy. How cute is that? So those are both brand new for my collection. It's more. Let's see. I would love to be um, a toy tester. <laughs> Bring me your toys. I'll test them. I'll test them. All right. Let's see. Ooh. This one is a green bag. Okay. Let's see. I'm telling you, this stuff is addicting, you know. It's like lottery tickets. Scratch-offs. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm always scared I'm going to cut stuff. I know I say that all the time, so I try to squish what I can to the bottom. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's something purple. It's something purple. Oh, it's a unicorny. Now, this one I do have. So, this is going to be... Um, put into, I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but this is a duplicate for me. So this one is one I will not be keeping. So let me put that one to the side and let's open this one. I have paper and garbage all over the place. All right, here we go. Can you guys hear that wind outside? Man. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Orange. I don't think I've seen an orange one. Here we go. All righty. How do we do? Let's try to get where we don't feel anything. Let's cut her open. What is it? What is it? What do we got? What do we got? You guys see before me, actually. What do we got? Ooh. Well, well, oh my goodness, look at that. I don't even know where to begin. Is That is like a dinosaur with wings? Ooh, this one's pretty. I need a name, I need a name. I'm back. That's twice I've disappeared on you all. Who is this? Let me take a look here. I've never seen that one ever, 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 ever. You try to match it up here. 
What happens if it's not on here? I don't see it. So what what happens when it's not on here? Um, who knows about these things? It's not on here. So what do you do? All right, someone's got to help me out here. I have no idea who this character is. Someone's got to let me know down below because it's not on the um, paper. I don't know who it is. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, what do I got here? I have, let's see, some more fingerlings. Uh, this is, does it say a series? It does not say a series. I have no idea. So here it is. Let's check it out. And again with these two, any doubles? Okay, so here's your pamphlet that you get that tells you what you can get. There is your little bracelet. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, okay, so we have something else that fell out. Okay. So we have this little one. You know what this reminds me of? I just, I don't know, I just had a flash. It almost looks like a Teletubby. Do you guys remember Teletubbies? Am I really showing my age? Doesn't that look like a Teletubby face? Come on, that's a Teletubby. Um, here is the little purse, or I'm not sure, the charm maybe that goes on the bracelet. That's probably what it is, yep. So there you go. I'm telling you, this looks like a Teletubby. Tell me if I'm wrong. All right, let's open up another one here. Here is one that's in a yellow package. And then I have one that's in this type of package. So let's open this one. What's everybody doing today? I know tomorrow's Mother's Day and with the way our world is right now, I don't know. All right, so, really, Beth? Really, Beth? Okay, I don't think I dropped anything of significance. No, not really. Okay. Aw! Uh -huh. Wow, this one's got like, um, it's like a vine. And then it has, oh, look, it's got a little horseshoe. I should be sticking that somewhere on me. Man, I need some luck. Okay, so, here is the second one. I'm telling you, these look like Teletubbies. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. I wonder if you can hook their tails together. Oh yeah, I guess you could. All right, let me see what else we got. One more bag. Let's check it out and see what we find. Again, these are called Fingerlings Minis. You can get up to 48 different ones. Let's see, and try not to throw it all over the floor. All right, let me just do this instead. All right, whoops, whoops. Okay, so now this one is like a teal bluish vine, and then this one has, it looks like little stars. And then this monkey, oh, is this adorable? Oh my goodness, I'm not even sure. Well, I'm gonna assume it's a monkey. There it is. Look at it. Oh, I love the purple. It is too, too cute. All right, so those were the monkeys. I'm still wanna know what this is. What is this dude? All right, what else? Oh, okay, so last night's Dollar Tree haul, I showed this and I was like, never seen them before, never heard of them. Little Big Bites Series 2. So we're going to check this out together. All right, let me open up the plastic. You see what we got here? I'm going to do this all together. Oh my gosh, the way they package some of these. I think to myself, how do these kids even get these open? But I guess they do. All right. So let me take off all the plastic. Boink. Um, I'm going to assume. Boink. Okay. Um, 
It says, dare to unbox the bite. This is pretty decent size. Um, let's see what Rizzo's got to say. It's three inches all the way around. I mean, three inches. So let's see. I'm assuming I'm going to take this paper off. If not, I just did. All right. I'm just wondering, like, is something going to jump out at me? Because, like, I don't need that right now. But it looks like there's tape or... Oh, wait a minute. Is it going to pop out at me? Um, I don't know, but it's purple. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, I'm confused, but <laughs> that's nothing new. Um, it appears that it's purple and has a really big mouth. Um, I don't know anything about these, but let me show you what else is in here. So it looks like we've got something that probably holds it. Um, yep, looks like it fits in his butt. <laughs> All right, let me see what else we got. We have a pamphlet. And then there's something else in here. Whoops. Okay, so we have this green box. There's the box. Then we had this purple dude. We have this green piece. We have this pamphlet that does tell me how to put it together. I just have to learn how to read stuff. So, <laughs> and then there's purple bag and let's see what's in here. Okay, let me cut it because I know there's nothing right there. So let's check it out. Oi! Oh! I'm back! I need some breakfast, maybe. And it's already almost lunchtime. That's probably my problem. All right. We have... <laughs> it looks... Okay, so we have this little clip that's got this stretchy thing. And this, to me, looks like a little bat. Like a little club a caveman would whack his cavewoman over the head with. I think because this has become more complicated than I thought it was going to be, I am going to read the directions. I'm going to put it together, and then I will show you in another video. <laughs> Durr. This is where I have to go. And, you know, it's still in my Amazon cart, and I saw um, Pink, Pink Motivation. I saw her the other night doing a unboxing for Amazon, and she has one. I'm like, no! Mine's in my shopping cart. But anyways, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate your continued support. We have a hard candy giveaway. If I can make 7,000 subscribers, if you go to my community page, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Reddit or Tumblr, you've getting sneak peeks of what the giveaway will be. So, as I head towards 7,000 subscribers, I want to thank you to all of my current subscribers and all the new subscribers that have come along to watch my insanity channel here. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for your continued support. Please make sure to take care of yourself and each other. Bye for now.